So this is my second sketchbook tour. And um, yeah, this is, again, the same as if you've seen the first one, it's me basically chuntering on for a little bit about what I use my sketchbooks for. Just to cover the formalities so we can introduce ourselves properly, this is a Stillman and Byrne sketchbook. It's their beta series, which is a soft cover. Um, nice quality paper. Um, I would say slightly textured, only ever so slightly. It's quite, it's quite thick paper. Uh, and I'm sure you could use it with all media and it wouldn't bleed through unless you were doing something quite severe. But um, yeah, so let's crack on. So this was a, a, a lighthouse drawing where I'm obviously trying to incorporate some different colours, some purples and things. I'm not quite sure whether I like that. But anyway, this is, uh, I loved, I do love doing skies. I must do more sort of tutorials on skies to talk a little bit about how you use wet water and wet in wet techniques to create clouds and things, but skies are a lot of fun. This is the water side at Kukubri, where I used to live when I was in, working as an industrial designer, and it's quite nice, some of the colours in here. That quinacridone gold Daniel Smith colour is lovely to create sort of the rust on the fishing boats. The Crucible in Sheffield. I think this was sketched in a lockdown type times when it was really quiet there. I do went. I went through a phase of sketching pickups, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> I did about. I did must have about twenty pickup drawings in the space of a month, and then of course got distracted by a bee or squirrel and went off and did that instead. Um, but yeah, I tend to pick up subjects. Uh, although boats have stayed a pretty consistent theme for the last few years. Um, this is a bit of a weird, a weird one, sort of strange color palette, and I don't think I really decided what I, where I was going to go with it. And weirdly, there's a lot of pers perspective in the shadow, but not so much in the boat. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what that was all about. But anyway, yeah, this is quite a nice one. Uh, quite a nice balance of colour in that. Uh, and that, I think, is just a Payne's Grey in the sky, which is not something I'd, I'd really ever do. So it's interesting to see. This is a ship. Not, you know, not the sort of thing that you were naturally drawn to. Um, but yeah, beautiful colours and just thought it'd be a fun little sketch. This is not being resolved. I don't know what, what I was thinking there, but I've obviously started somewhere and it's gone nowhere. But, you know, as we say in Yorkshire, ho, hum, dogs, boom. Uh, they don't say that. So I just say that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you guys out there remember Mamod. Very cool, but I can't imagine many kids playing with them now, which is a shame. We don't have any more. I don't know where it went, but it was a cool little toy. So this was just a picture that I saw online and it made me incredibly nostalgic for for my youth. I think this was a drawing challenge, but it was something that, again, I decided to do in a slightly different colour palette. And because I've used quite, quite a heavy pencil, but then gone in with quite a lot of paint on top, a lot of the underpainting is, the under sketching drawing has sort of disappeared. I don't know whether I like it or not, but, you know. What you put on your, what I choose to put on my wall is is not always the stuff that I, I think is the most technically proficient, you know, in terms of drawing. It's just stuff that I, I like, you know, it, it's whether you enjoy doing them and it's what you get from that experience. That said, if you were, say, for example, if you were a painter and decorator or you were a graphic designer and what you did wasn't appropriate for your client or was wrong or was ugly or nobody wanted to use it. You're not going to get. We're not going to get paid. Uh, but I don't think for me this is about being paid. I mean, a sketchbook, particularly. I do. How, you know, I do commissions for people. I do sell a little bit of my art. But primarily, a sketchbook is is a you know is a safe space for me to mess up and do things that I really don't like and play, or do some stuff that I just accidentally go. Oh, I love that. Um, you can, actually, there's an interesting thing here, apart from the colours, which obviously you can see it's all very messy and splashy and wonderful. But what I've done here is I've used a, a black fountain a pen and then in the background I've used a grey fine liner. And going from a black to a grey as you go further back in the picture just help make the foreground pop. Just a little. Can't help but give you little tips as we go, can I? So this sketchbook was done kind of concurrently with other sketchbooks. I normally have about four or five on the go and they're all different shapes. And I'll just pick up one at random almost. So this was done at about the same time as some of my others. 
This is me playing with some Posca pens, which is a lot of fun, and a sketch that was never really painted in. I just left it like that. I don't know why. I kind of lost interest in it. I just don't think it really worked particularly well. Again, trying to play here with Posca pen and watercolour, and that never really changed. This was drawn by uh, Charlie Flinders, who is a fantastic artist. Check him out on uh, Instagram. Um, while we were at the... Um, National Railway Museum in York having a sketches meetup. And he sat and did this on a napkin and I stole it because I liked it. I think he did give me permission. There was beer involved at some point during that day as well. It was a good day. Um, some more of my sketches. This has all been done in grey fine liner. And then I've just used the colour to pop it. I think it needs a little bit more actually. It needs sort of finishing that. But I quite like the idea of the simple colours in the water and the simple colours on the boat. Victoria Keys in Sheffield is a lovely space place for sketching. You don't normally associate Sheffield with waterways or anything to do with water, but it's got a lovely canal basin. One of my things I do all the time, is, and I'm terrible for it, is because I just go in with pen often and I don't sketch in pencil, is my, my, my drawings will end up pushed into a corner somewhere. Um, but as I say, a sketchbook doesn't really matter. There's a little one of our friend's dogs, Jura, there. Okay. Very cute. Again, this is me experimenting, trying to get a sort of dappled shadow on the tree trunk there. Not necessarily succeeding, but trying to be loose and quite watery. I think one of the things that you notice when you put too much watercolour on is it can go a little bit cakey like there, and it tends to lose its... Once it loses that beautiful transparent feel, it can start to look not quite as as pretty. This was a little experiment. I did ink and then watercolour. Two versions of the same drawing. Sometimes that's quite fun to do. This is an exercise in drawing ropes. <laughs> I think th this was definitely a drawing that I did and probably regretted it about an hour in. But I do like drawing boats. And this just reminds me of Newquay and Whitby, which I've got many fond memories of boating in and falling in and swimming in and weighing in and all sorts. Uh, but yeah, it's quite an iconic part of Whitby. And if, you've, if you know the town well, you'll know where it is. So in the Botanical Gardens in Sheffield, there is a, uh, a bear pit with a bronze bear in. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a history behind that, but uh, I'll let you Google Sheffield Botanical Gardens bear pit, see what, uh, what that comes up. Yeah, so... Again, some really quick sketches. A day out, there's some brambles there and swimming in the river with the kids. And this is another drawing challenge, quite big, bold. I like these big splashes of colour roughly put over these, the outline of the, the leaves and the fact that the leaves don't match up with the trees. I think it's really cool. I like that. Quite a nice little sketch, this, but again, not planned. And I've come falling off the bottom of the page again, like I always do. Um, I'll get too close to the top or whatever. Maybe a bit of blue sky in here, actually. Looking at this again would be nice. This is called Big Ship. I've named it Big Ship because it's a big ship. This is the dead horse gulch in the sky upside down. It might look like it was dead horse in the sky upside down, so I always think of it as, the, as that now, a picture of staves. Um, done with Aurora Borealis ink from Diamine. I've even made a note. How very organised. And this is a little bit more ink painting. Uh, again, this has been sketched with red ink. Red uh, fountain pen ink from Octopus, which is Octopus make some really nice waterproof fountain pen inks. And these are quite good fun too. Again, just some... Quick sketches and then splashing, splashing some colour over the top. Again, the satanical the botanical gardens. My daughter used to call when she was at nursery. They used to go to the botanical gardens a lot, and she went through a phase of not being able to say botanical, so she used to call it the satanical gardens. Which for me, it's always been the satanical gardens, and long may it be so. Uh, again, some play with uh, Posca pens, Posca pens, Edinburgh. Where we have some family there, up there, and yeah, so that's it. So again, more random chuntering and thoughts. Um, I do hope you enjoyed that, and 
So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.